Hey everyone, Techni here with something a little bit different today, but trust you me, it is actually really cool. And that is a Sony SRS WS1 wearable speaker. So if any of you have been here for a while on the Techni channel, you all know I love gaming and I actually game a lot. I don't just review gaming peripherals, this, that, and the other, you know what I mean? I actually use them and I truly love and game a whole lot and that's honestly where the majority of my test with this device came into play is gaming yes i did test with movies and music but again probably 90 percent of my test time or use time was gaming all right so first off inside your box right here you get an absolute ridiculous amount of wires and stuff to hook these guys up and talking about all these wires right here it's all for your hookup you have your charge dock here you have your receiver you have two uh, wall chargers or power bricks connected by usba you get an optical cable you also get a 3.5 to 3.5 then you get a 3.5 to your micro usb to plug in right here I mean, when I first opened this box, I was like, what the heck is going on? But the really cool thing about this mess of wires right here is the versatility to, again, plug it into any device right there and make it work with any, whether that be PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Mac, mobile, pretty much whatever you have, you can get these guys to work. Okay, now let me go plug all this stuff back in. And let me tell you what, it is stinking loud. So as you just heard right there, these things get pretty stinking loud. We'll talk a lot about the sound here coming up, but you all know where I usually start with my headset reviews, if we can even call that this, you know? Maybe sound maker reviews, right? But anyways, we're gonna talk about the comfort here and the build. So number one, comfort. Taking them out the box and really picking them up the first time and putting them on, they feel lofty in the hands. They really do. They're coming in on my scale right at 332 grams. And when you put them on your shoulders right here, you do feel them. They're not just like non-existent there by any means, but they're not uncomfortable or annoying at all. I feel a pressure right over here on my left collarbone just a little bit. Again, it's not annoying or it doesn't hurt by any means, but you do notice it there. Now underneath it here, you do have a little bit of padding, and I mean a little bit. It's right here on the bottom and it goes right over to the back right there. But it is enough to really make it feel like you don't have plastic leaning right against you. It's probably about as thick as like a pair of socks. But again, it is enough right there to make it not annoying. And it is also lined with all that cloth material on the inside right there and then plastic on the outside. But this guy is super duper flexible. You can see I can bend it and twist it up and I'm really not worried about it. You know what I mean? It really just flows with the flex. So now let's go to talk about using it and the features on and everything, right? Going back to all those wires we looked at with being able to connect it to pretty much any device right there and again when you first pop open a box and you see all those wires it's almost a little overwhelming you're like what the heck did I get myself into but it's really super easy don't get overwhelmed by all the wires again it's just the options that you have in there you don't have to use all of them again it's just options heck even to the charging cradle right there that I showed you you don't have to use it you can plug the USB right into here and just plug it in that way and charge it right there you don't have to use that cradle so that knocks out two extra things. So all, all you'll have is your receiver plugged in right there and then plugged into whatever device you have, which makes it very minimalistic. Speaking about it being very minimalistic as well, you have a nine foot range with this guy. So you can really take that receiver, kind of hide it off in the distance or whatever. I actually walked a few rooms out of my room and never lost a single bit of sound. No stutter, no glitch, and no delays or anything. It sounded fantastic. So it's really cool. Again, you can kind of hide all your stuff somewhere, put it off in the distance. Like I don't have mine sitting right on a desk. I gotta sit on a table off to the side and I still get fantastic reception. Now, as far as the features and functions on this headset or wearable speakers, I'm probably gonna accidentally call this a headset a lot through this video, but just remember, we're talking wearable speaker here. So anyways, the features and functions on this are really simple and easy to use. Right over here on the left side, you have your volume up and then your volume down. You can hold it down right there to reduce the tone in it whenever you get a notification in there. Hold both of them down and it'll take that tone off right there. Over on the right side, you have your power button and then you have your vibration button. Now this vibration, you have a low, medium, and a high right there. It almost sounds more or less like an EQ set and I'm bleeding right into sound here, right? But anyways, it sounds more like an EQ setting for me. Whenever I put it on low, it sounds like very potent in your highs and everything, kind of reduces the bass. On medium, you get really that nice natural sound which is what I prefer it being on right there put it on to the high right there and again you're getting into like beach territory right like you feel the thing vibrating on you you definitely feel and hear the bass <laughs> Control two objectives. 
And as far as charging it on a dock, it is super stinking easy. It actually magnetizes and clips in right on the back right there. Bam, you set it down and it starts charging for you. Now the stinker about that charger right there, it almost has to be on a perfectly flat surface because if it's angled one little bit, it doesn't sit in there. So again, keep it on that flat surface, bam, and it charges up. But again, like I stated earlier, you don't need to use that. You can plug it right into the wearable speaker and charge it that way as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the fun stuff here, the sound. And how this is working is you have two speakers right in the lower part here, which again is where all that weight is coming from. You got metal grates around them as well you know what we might have been able to reduce some weight by not making those grates metal there but whatever anyway so the speakers are coming out right there and this sounds kind of rolling up through these channels right up here up towards your ears what I'd like to compare this to a simple example is like I know we all have used those phone cases right where usually your speakers come out right from the bottom but you buy these phone cases that kind of route and curve your sound up in front of you so if you're looking at it bam it brings it in front of you Pretty much the exact same thing we're using here, right? So our speakers are up here, but as again, it's coming up and traveling through these channels right here, coming up right on you. But now catch me right there. When I say it's coming up on you, that's probably the one downside about this wearable speaker that I catch. Because again, the speakers are right here, coming through these channels, and I feel like the sound is right here, right? If, if that makes any sense. It's like right in front of me which I guess we would like, right? Because it sounds like speakers are right in front of us. You got your screen right here, bam, your speakers right there. This sound's coming at you. But what I kind of would have preferred is the sound being right here, if that makes sense. Because again, I kind of like that you know, feeling of a headset on my head and bam, the sounds right on me. But again, this kind of feels more or less like you have speakers in front of you rather than speakers on you. So now talking about the sound detail here and everything, you all know I play a lot of Call of Duty and that's where the majority of my tests came with this. And wow, 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 was it awesome. I mean, I absolutely loved it. And it is so stinking loud. My wife was telling me, hey, you gotta turn those speakers off. You know, I said, no, I'm wearing this wearable speaker thing here. You know, she goes, you gotta be kidding me. All that's coming from here. They all came in and tested it out and they were just blown away by it. But that is also where I kind of put it right there. It's that immersion, that really fun factor, right? Or it's that really kind of just laid back game, right? If I'm just having some fun playing some Call of Duty or like a really good story game or a movie or something, something like that, you know what I mean? But whenever you get into that like real detailed music or say like a competitive game, that's kind of where it drops off a little bit. I mean, it sounds great on music, it really does. But again, you're gonna lose a little bit of that detail right there. Again, talking about like Call of Duty, if I wanna get real competitive, Rainbow Six, for example, you don't really get that, you know, detail as far as footsteps and directional sound and stuff. I mean, you do get directional sound. Don't catch me there. Like if a grenade goes off over here, that grenade's going off over here and you're actually feeling it over here. But as far as the little minute details as footsteps and stuff like that, you're going to lose all that competitive edge with these. So that's where I put it right there is again, if you're just getting on and having some fun, playing a great story game, wow, these things will come to life. Watching a movie, something like that, really, really awesome. And that rolls me right into where I think this wearable speed speaker is perfectly suited for. That is VR. And that's where I think Sony missed a massive marketing deal, right? PSVR with this guy. This is absolutely perfect. And I think everybody with VR or PSVR needs these. That is exactly what these are built for, it feels like. And that's honestly what I think the perfect suit for this would have been, you know? Again, market it as a PSVR accessory or just a VR accessory in general, considering you use it on any stinking device, you know what I mean? But it's just perfect. You don't got this big tacky headset on you. You know what I didn't like about VR? Again, I had that little mask on right here. Then I had a headset on. I didn't know what the heck was going on around me and I did not like that one bit you know someone could be breaking into my house I got this mask on waving these things around headset on and it's just robbing me blind maybe I'm just paranoid but with these it's really cool because again you can be immersed into your VR or something like that still hear the people around you they can talk to you while you're there looking at your VR on the screen and everything you're still getting your sound you can still interact with the people around you Wow, 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 I can't stress it enough. If you have VR, you need to try these guys out. And putting all that together there, that's where I put and where I recommend the Sony SRS WS1 right here. It's really fun, again, if you're into story games or a lot of movies and stuff like that, and you don't wanna buy this massive speaker setup because they sound stinking amazing. They really do. If you don't want all these, you know, big old speakers and everything all around your room, this will suit you right there. But again, everybody's gonna hear it around you. And the other part where I gotta put it again, backtrack 
back in there is 100% recommendation for VR. But yes, it is also a little bit pricey. I believe regular MSRP is $299, and right now you can scoop it up for around $250. Is it worth that price? That's honestly got to be a personal preference right there. You know, is it something you're looking for? Do you want to try that new tech and have that kind of different experience? I think it's 100% worth the price again if you're a really hardcore VR player all day long, I say buy it right now, you know what I mean? But again, if you just want something a little bit different, a little bit uh, fun tech to try out, I do think 250 is a little bit steep. I would have liked to see it 100 bucks less, maybe around 150, something like that, you know? So hey, please do let me know down in the comments what you think about this wearable speaker, especially for gaming, you know? I think this is a great conversation piece here, and I really want to just kind of talk to you guys and see what you think about it as well, because it really blew me away. It's something totally different. And that's honestly the funnest tech to get your hands on and really start testing out, right? It's something different. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the Sony wearable speaker right here. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.